Hi, this is Dave. I'm showing you the new Birds INA. Um, so we the first thing you should do is go set your settings up. Um, I'm going to my uh, profile here. Now mine's already set up, but this is where you would go in settings and then uh, enter your profile and eBird information to log in. Um, I'll show you in a minute why that's important. Go to um, my bird list and um, from here this shows in this case the list of all the birds I've seen in the world or at least all the birds I've entered into eBird. But I'm going to change it, and I'm going to change it to the United States, and then I'll pick California and uh, L.A. County, which is where I live, and um, the current year. So now it's going to change to my year list for L.A. County, um, and that's right, it's 318 birds so far this year. So now if I go to um, Browse Birds at the top, now you can start getting into the power of bird's eye. So now, what I've got here is uh, real-time bar charts that show the actual current, you know, local abundance of birds based on eBird data. Um, and you can, you know, I'm just kind of browsing around to show you what's here. Um, if I get down towards the bottom into some of the migrant passerines, you can get a feel for how, um, you know, how the bar charts look for birds that, you know, have strong seasonal peaks. And uh, like Swainson's thrush and hermit thrush, you can see. Now you can change the settings. Currently it's set to 50 miles, but I'll change it to 10 miles. And it'll take a little while to load. And now, okay, it's loaded. So now I've got a bar chart based on 10 miles. So kind of more specific to my local area, not including as much of the mountains and the desert and stuff. So that um, that's a really powerful feature of birds. I need, For each of these birds, I can look at... Uh, text from Ken Kaufman. I can look at a map of recent nearby sightings. Um, here's Rufus Crown Sparrow, a couple of different spots where they've been seen. Um, I can also, there's Wikipedia and Flickr down at the bottom there if you want to do a search, or I can um, load the sounds. Let's listen to these guys. There we go. And um, hear them one more time. So that gives you an idea of what they can do there. Now back to the list and all right. So here's um, I'm switching over to a list of birds that I haven't seen. So these are my needs. So these are the birds that are not on my LA County list. And um, so three of them: spotted owl and um, pin-tailed widow, red lord parrot. I haven't seen. Now back to the home screen, I can look at hotspots. So this allows me to browse nearby hotspots. I'll pick a place I like to go, Eden Canyon. Let's see, uh, there we go. And um, it's gonna load the list of birds that are present there. And the time it takes obviously depends a little bit on um, how fast your server or how fast your connection is. But uh, so this is the list of birds there and the bar chart for that local spot. Um, I, if I look at the all list, this is all the birds for which we have data. Um, it's not a complete list of all the birds in eBird, but it's, you know, for the last few years anyway. And, um, you know, again, this is a, you know, local bar charts based on that area. All right, so now I can go to notables, which is another feature. And uh, I can choose my sort order, and let's see, and I can also choose the distance I want. So I set it on 50 miles, and boom, those are all of the... Uh, notable birds. Uh, this is, these are all the birds that you know are you know require confirmation in eBird um, for a quantity of one, and uh, this is kind of a list of sightings. So that's the basics of the new bird's eye. Um, you can also change languages.